Our video project is on cranial nerve 12, the hypoglossal. For anything you need the tongue to do, it's extremely important to have an intact hypoglossal nerve. The hypoglossal nerve is solely a motor nerve and it serves a very important function. It allows us to move our tongue and it gives us the ability to swallow. It is also a somatic and efferent nerve that is vital for speech. The hypoglossal nucleus resides along the length of the medulla. As most motor neurons are, it is close to the midline. The nerve arises in the medulla at the hypoglossal nucleus as small rootlets. It then passes down the hypoglossal canal, exiting the cranium. Now in the neck, the nerve passes inferiorly to the bottom of the mandible, crossing the internal and external carotid arteries, eventually reaching the tongue. The hypoglossal stimulates all of the muscles of the tongue, aside from the platyglossus, which is stimulated via the accessory nerve through the pharyngeal plexus. The hypoglossal nerve is one of the least injured nerves in head injury. Although with that said, hypoglossal nerve palsy, which is the paralysis of the muscle supplied by the hypoglossal nerve, is a well-recognized complication of trauma, infection, and procedures affecting the floor of the mouth and the throat. Weakness of the tongue manifests itself as a slurring of speech and by wasting of the side of the tongue which has the palsy. The patient complains that their tongue feels thick, heavy, or clumsy. Lingual sounds, for example, L's, T's, D's, N's, R's, etc., are slurred, and this is obvious in conversation even before a direct examination. Some patients who have hypoglossal tongue lesions actually end up having a trace aspiration as well.